That's right, Dewan, and that's why it's so much interest in exactly where this virus started, the cause of COVID. Now, COVID's impact is far-reaching, impacting all of us in some way. We are learning more on where and how the COVID-19 yeah. pandemic likely originated. The Department of Energy concluded COVID-19's origins are most likely linked to a laboratory leak in Wuhan, China, according to a report from the Wall Street Journal. The Department of Energy's findings come with low confidence, which means the agency's conclusion is not a slam dunk. Four other agencies that are among the U.S. intelligence community have reported COVID was likely the result of natural transmission. So this is not a consensus among our intelligence communities, which is really important, which means that the data are pretty skimpy, probably. Also, it's, it's hard because the Chinese government hasn't been forthcoming. You know, they've been very, very defensive, which is worrying and not open to a full investigation. So I think that that's another problem. The medical community in North Carolina has been on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic, including Dr. David Wool, an infectious disease specialist at UNC, who has led efforts to stop the spread of the coronavirus. For me as a researcher, it's really important, right, that we make sure that this doesn't happen again. However this came about, hopefully not through this kind of error, um, but if it did, um, then I think that that's really damning. Dr. David Wool also used this time to remind us COVID isn't over, but the state is showing signs we are on a downslope of a possible surge. Numbers from the Department of Health and Human Services show that same outlook. COVID cases are down with 9,091 new cases the week ending February 18th. COVID hospital admissions are also down with 760. We still have to pay attention to what's going on right in front of us, which is that we still have cases. Uh, we have to get ahead of this virus, uh, make sure we have newer vaccines that are going to be even more effective than the very effective and safe vaccines we have now. The White House hasn't publicly commented on the Department of Energy's findings, but we hope to hear from President Biden directly later this week. In Raleigh, Jamise Price, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. All right, Jamise, thank you.